Well, hey everyone, this is Shirish and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another amazing university, this time university in Australia, University of Melbourne. Well, before I begin this video, I have something very interesting to share with you. Very recently, I've started making videos on my podcast, Living Extraordinary, that can help you build your dream life as I share some super amazing tools, strategies and resources in my podcast. So check out my podcast videos as well and make sure to share with your friends and family and help me in growing the show. And as always, I have created an amazing college admission profile assessment for you and it is completely free. Just head to the link mentioned in the description box and get your profile evaluated for free. Now let's hit it up for Melbourne University. Hi, I'm Shirish Gupta and I empower people to hack their success, rise above the challenges and confidently create an extraordinary life they deserve. The University of Melbourne is a public research university located in Melbourne, Australia. It was established in 1853 and is the second oldest university in Victoria. Four Australian Prime Ministers and five Governor General have graduated from the University of Melbourne located in the city dubbed Australia's cultural capital. The main campus is located in Melbourne. Melbourne is a major centre for street art, music and theatre. It is seven times winner of Economist World's Most Livable City Award and is the UNESCO City of Literature, as well as the birthplace of Australian rules football. There are many things you can take up on weekends to enjoy with your friends. University's main campus is at Parksville. The university has three other campuses as well. The primary campus is Parksville with 36 hectare land area, lined with natural and architectural marvels. The overall architecture is a mix of new and old buildings with state-of-the-art facilities. Now, all colleges and campuses are equipped with state-of-the-art facilities for sure. The most popular majors at University of Melbourne include Agriculture Sciences, Architecture, Biomedical Engineering, Core Engineering, Earth Sciences, Computer Science and Information Technology, Psychology, Tourism and Hospitality Management. Well, again, although I'm not a big fan of judging a university solely on the basis of the ranking, but to put things in perspective, in the QS World University Rankings of 2022, the university ranks 37th globally and second in Australia. Alright, now let's move on to our next section, talking about the right fit, starting with academic fit. Academics at UMelbourne are great. It's known for offering students an experience that's a lot more than just structured learning. The university has 15 graduate schools, including the world-renowned Melbourne Business School, the Melbourne Law School, and Melbourne Medical School. The University of Melbourne offers about 700 courses for undergrad, graduates, and doctor level across its faculties in architecture, building and planning, arts, business and economics, education, engineering, fine arts and music, law, medicine, dentistry, and health sciences, science and veterinary and agriculture. Degrees here stand out for being modelled on those from top institutions overseas. The University of Melbourne differs from the other Australian universities in its core structure as it offers nine generalised three-year degree instead of more traditional specialised undergraduate degrees. Students spend a year exploring a range of subjects areas before choosing a major at undergraduate level. They also study subjects outside as well as inside their chosen discipline giving Melbourne students a breadth of knowledge that sets them apart. University of Melbourne is also amazing in research and development. Whatever your passion is, you will find stimulating research opportunities at the university. The university is a leading Australian research university with the highest cohort of research students in Australia. The faculty is extremely talented and true to their law. Students have always praised their readiness to speak to students whenever they need help. Many Nobel laureates have taught, studied and researched at University of Melbourne. The typical postgraduate program is one year and up to can go up to two years as well. The class size at U Melbourne are generally small to average. It's about 40 to 50 students for most classes. In very few entry-level core courses, the classes can go up from this number. So keeping all this thing in mind, I would like to rate U Melbourne with five stars on academic difficulty and quality level. Five is the highest level. Well, after academic fit, let's move to social fit. Well, social life in U Melbourne is good. Students will find a lot of cultural activities on campus to enjoy, including theatre, film, comedy, or public lectures. Most of the social life happens on campus with various university organized events. Others may include a lot of cultural and social events in the city outside campus that can be enjoyed with friends. It's easy to find people with matching interests by joining affiliated student clubs and societies, ranging from chess club to science and engineering to the chocolate lover society as well. Yes, they do have a society like that. U Melbourne has about 52,000 students with about 26,000 as undergrad and remaining as PGs and PhD. 
The university has about 40% of student body as international students, which is amazing amount of diversity in one place. Housing is good enough for most students as well. The university has 10 residential colleges where most students live, which provide a quick way to build an academic and social network. Most students prefer staying on campus, while some seniors and postgraduates look for apartment outside the city. Accommodations outside the campus are really expensive, so mostly the colleges guarantee a place for everyone who wants to be on campus for all academic years. The quality of food is amazing and the variety is huge. Campus has a lot of places in each college to choose from. The food quality is usually good and a lot of on and off campus food beverages options are also available for students. Now, U Melbourne is big on sports as well. The university has participated in various sports in its history and has 39 affiliated clubs. New facilities include a 25 meter six lane heated indoor pool, an athletics track and sports field and a large strength and fitness gym. University of Melbourne offers competitive academics and good social life. I would like to give it five stars out of five on quality of life at Melbourne. Now let's look at the financial fit. Well, U Melbourne falls in an expensive school category. The tuition fee is about 35,000 to 55,000 Australian dollars in annual tuition expenses without scholarships for most courses. But medical programs are in the range of 75,000 Australian dollars per year. Housing and dining is about 18 to 20,000 Australian dollars per year. As far as financially is concerned, the university has a lot of scholarships options. Merit scholarships are available for deserving students, including some sports scholarships as well. International students are eligible for merit scholarships as well. Each year, eligible applicants can receive about 10,000 Australian dollar college scholarships together with Melbourne Access Scholarship for up to 7,000 Australian dollars. So overall, I would like to give it three stars out of five on financial fit. Now, after exploring the fit, let's move to the most curious section on how to triple your chance of getting into University of Melbourne with my special admission tips and strategies. The ideas I'm going to share now come from my decade long experience working with students for career and college admission. Well, as far as admissions are concerned, U Melbourne is more focused on academic grades and representation and activities. The acceptance rate last year was about 70% overall, but staying highly selective for international students with acceptance rate of about 44% during the evaluation process. For your application to be successful, you will need to satisfy subject prerequisite requirements for the course you have applied for. This ensures you have the right skills, knowledge and experience required for the course. Make sure you take subjects accordingly in your grade 11th and 12th or in college classes for PG students to show competence in your chosen field. Once this is out of the way, you can start preparing for the application requirements like the SOP, talking about your purpose of attending studies at U Melbourne, and resume with detailed co-curriculars with letters of recommendation. Financials are required after the initial offer. Graduate coursework degrees may have specific interviews, portfolios, and supplementary tests you need to do before you can be accepted into a degree. Most of the courses do not require any SAT or ACT, but postgraduates still might have to take GRE or GMAT. The U Melbourne also requires all international students to present English proficiency. You may meet this by completing an approved English proficiency test like TOEFL or IELTS or PTE or through previous study in English as well. Overall, admission is simple and the university also offers a direct entry program for undergraduate admissions that you can check for your eligibility on the university website. You can apply through official country specific agents as well appointed by the University of Melbourne as well in case you need help. Now for deadlines, for admission into undergraduate program, University of Melbourne does not have any common deadline for all programs, although many vary slightly but most of the deadlines fall in the rolling category, which means apply sooner to get better results, probably about November and December a year prior. Mostly, it closes it by first week of May for international students. For all postgraduate courses, they have individual department deadlines with either one or two deadlines between October to March every year. Most of the programs here as well go with the rolling deadlines too. And in the end, to conclude, if you are academically inclined, self-sufficient, enjoy social gatherings, hardworking, fun-loving, slightly research-oriented, University of Melbourne is for you. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. Really appreciate it. Please make sure to support my work by liking and sharing this video and also subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon. Remember to complete your profile evaluation as discussed in the beginning of this video and get your personalized report for free. In fact, a lot of students and parents, they tell me the report is so good, they would have paid for it. But this is absolutely free for you. So yeah, it's one tool that you will need to help you in your college admission journey. And I'm here for you to support you on this beautiful journey. If you need any assistance, me and my team are here to help you. 
Thank you once again and I'll be back with another amazing video. Until then you can watch this video as your next video. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.